Because, quite frankly, this is not family friendly. Mr. Eski, Senator McGrath. Uh, thank you, Deputy President. And, and before I commence, with the indulgence of the Chamber, uh, a very good friend of mine is running the Ulster Way at the moment, and he's doing 1,000 kilometres over 15 days. So, Acting Deputy President, I'm here to talk about um, family friendly hours. Carbon tax, Carbon tax. Carbon tax. 2.0. And it's like one of those bad Hollywood movies, those, those sequels you get that never, that never, that never, never as good as, as, as the first movie. And this one, this carbon tax, it's bigger, it's uglier, and it's going to hurt you. It's going to really, really hurt you. Not just the tail wagging the dog. They've picked the dog up, and quite frankly, they've taken it to the pound. This is quite rude. And, you know, <clears throat> the Liberals are national. Sometimes we have what we call creative tension in, in our coalition. But we respect each other, and it is quite clear, Acting Deputy President, might be not exactly. Thank you, Senator Henderson. Where are the amendments? Now, I, I don't know whether they could be in the drawer here. Oh, it could be there's minties there under this folder here. We don't know where these amendments are. God, I'd hate to see your families. The, the, the Greens have been dancing and stomping and trolloping all over. The glee, the, the, the sheer happiness. From, from, from that side of this chamber that, that they were going to stop. You just go, what planet are you on? And I'd like to commend the Green Senators in the chamber tonight. This is, they are making an excellent contribution to this debate. Senator and quite frankly, we need Senator more McGrath. Green Senators like Senator this. Senator McGrath, would you uh, take your seat, please? Mm. Considering those on the left raising issues around interjections, so Senator McGrath, I look forward to the rest of your contribution. And so, and thank you, Acting Deputy President. Acting Deputy President, Acting Deputy President, never a truer thing that you've said, actually. And so do the many people who are listening, uh, all three of them. And I think uh, Peter Wilson, hopefully, um, is one of them. Why are we here? Is that like a mad bunch of? Of, of French Republicans from, from the 18th century, they've got the guillotine out. And they've been guillotining left, right and centre. Indeed, today we, we witnessed... So, um, you know, pre-revolutionary France, when, when the revolution was happening, would be going, goodness gracious me, they actually guillotined the guillotine. Only on Monday night. So that's why we're here at, at now uh, four past three in the morning uh, doing our second reading speeches. Because this is the Labor Party who talked about family-friendly hours. Well, if, if this is family-friendly... God, I'd hate to see your families. They, they, well, they promise, oh, we're going to have family friendly hours. Uh, no, we're not. We're not going to have family friendly hours. Because, quite frankly, this is not family friendly. It was very, very noticeable. Very interesting. Very, very noticeable. If I could find my space in the speech, it would be brilliant. Because you promised to the Australian people family friendly hours. That is what is really sad about this. But guess what? Because, quite frankly, this is not family friendly. And when Australia hurts, it means that the people who sent me here by $275. Now, Acting Deputy President, $275. 25% and 40%. This is modern Australia. And try, goodness, goodness me, try and get them to say 275, 275, 572. They are not caring. They are not family friendly. We also know the bigger the better. Giant throbbing taxes that come after you. Taxes that wedge you in the playground and that drag you to the toilets and flush your head down the dunny. That's what this is about. But it gets better, or worse, family friendly hours. You use such measly, weasley words because, because they think it's funny when people get power bills that they can't afford. Is is terrifying. They think it's funny where, where people are putting their kids out of sport because they can't afford their registration fees because of the cost of living crisis in this country. And your priorities are to bring in this bill. Your priorities are to waste the Senate's time on this bill instead of dealing with the cost of living crisis in this country. I am going to be passionate about this and I will be partisan about this because we will hang this bill around your neck and we will remind you this is not family friendly. Paul Keating style, like a like a crown of thorns every Senator day till the McGrath. next election. Senator that this McGrath, bill, I will pull you up. Yes. You are to use former Prime Minister's titles in your speech, no matter how passionate you are. So I draw that to your attention. Former Prime Minister Paul Keating, that Prime Minister who wrecked this country by bringing in the recession we had to have. That guy. Oh, yeah, that guy who the current Treasurer did his PhD on. And that is shameful. 
That is shameful. And so acting Deputy President. So when families want to turn on, on their TV, they won't be able to because this is not family friendly. But you're in bed with them, so good luck. Senator McKenzie. family-friendly hours.